faces dark times, no matter how rich or strong or enlightened they are. Some people do better than others. They rise to the challenge and ride the ups and downs to a successful outcome. How can you build your strength to hold and use power? Finding the power to navigate difficulties has been the focus of my work as a teacher, as a life coach, and as an artist. And I'm sharing my understanding through these paintings, which I have done on doors. Each painting represents a life experience, a pattern that we all share. By the way, there are 64 of them. So during the course of these series, I have lots to share with you. Well, as you can see, life can be pretty fiery at times. And you know, challenge and power go hand in hand. They lead to one another. The, the challenge wakes us up. It helps us to work with our power, to recognize our power, to um, make life easier by knowing how to use our power. And this is a good thing. Without the challenge, perhaps we would never have had a chance to access this wonderful process of awakening. So life is a journey and I, I'm happy to share this journey with you. The journey that we're going to experience in this series called Pathway to Power are the three stages that are involved in coming into your power, to be empowered. So the first thing that we'll be looking at is, what is it that actually disempowers us, separates us from accessing what we can do? I will be talking about four different aspects, and that will include such things as personal baggage, that's belief systems and conditioning and old stories that we bring with us, and such things as exhaustion. Those are pretty disempowering. In the next segment, we will be looking at how to build power. And there are four ways that I use to describe the building of power. One of those happens to be nourishment. And you might go, well, what's to nourishment besides a good dinner? Well, there is a lot to nourishment and it has a big impact on our power. And the third section that we'll be uh, exploring and sharing with you has to do with how to sustain power. It's great when everything is going fine, you're at full power, but what happens when you go overboard, when you get into the realm of excess, or when the job is done and you're at completion, what do you do then? So we'll be exploring how you sustain power under four different circumstances. I really look forward to sharing this journey with you and I want to thank you for being here with me. By the way, I am Kendra Barron. When you are empowered, your life is filled with boundless blessings. You feel expansive, and liberated.